Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. Another very quick revision video about a mnemonic and a trick video to understand the digestion of lipid. If you want to know the digestion of lipid and the enzymes involved in the digestion of lipid and the sequence of events for the digestion of lipid once you eat any lipid content or fat content, then this video is just for you. So I'll be writing it here, uh, lipid digestion, okay. Not lipid transport, remember it's lipid digestion. In CSR net lipid digestion is important but lipid transport is even more important. Uh, we will discuss about the lipid transport in a separate video but this one is about the lipids digestion. And again like every single mnemonic video I am going to write a mnemonic for, for, for you and this, is, this will be Lily Bosses Papa. Okay, Lily Bosses Papa. So it's uh, Hindi and English combined together. Papa is father. We all know that. Lily Bose's father. So basically we are just talking about Lily Bose's papa. Lily Bose is the name of a person. Right? A girl, Lily. So Lily Bose's papa. If you remember Lily Bose's papa, you can easily uh, get to understand the different enzymes involved in the digestion of lipid in human body. And when we say digestion of lipid, it starts with triglycerides. Remember, triglycerides. into diglycerides uh, right and and later this diglycerides will be converted to uh, other fatty acids and uh, the not only fatty acids but they also give a rise to if there are phospholipids that are involved then the phosphate backbone will be separated glycerol backbone will be separated all these backbones get separated but these are the sequential events the at the beginning the fat is present as a triglycerides as phospholipids so chunk of bigger lipid molecules they are drilled down to di diglycerides and then finally the fatty acids will be released and the glycerol uh, backbone will also be released from there, right? So this is a sequence of events that, that goes, but where exactly it is done and how exactly it is done, that's what we need to remember. And for remembering or for memory based, we have this uh, question, we have this thing in our hand, right? So we have Lilibos, L for Li for lingual lipase, remember that. So I'll write it Li for lingual lipase. Lingual lipase and lingual word means it is uh, present in our mouth. So lingual lipase. Then we have another lipase. This one is uh, this one is gastric lipase. Gastric lipase. Okay. Li for lipase. Gastric means it is present in the stomach. We have lingual lipase when, and we have gastric lipase both from this lily. Then we have Bose. Okay. And then we have PAPA. -A. Now uh, we have Lily Boses. So B uh, Bose here is that B and S. This is very important. So bile salt. We'll write it as bile salt that emulsifies fat. What bile salt does? Emulsification. Emulsification of fat. Emulsification of fat is done in here, right? Bile salt emulsification of the fat. So lily lingual lipase in lingual means in the mouth. Another li for gastric lipase. It is acting in the st stomach. Both of them, what they are doing, they are converting triglycerides and uh, digl triglyceride into diglycerides. That's the simple conversion that is done for the fat digestion. Very little done in the stomach and also very little done in the mouth. Uh, mouth only with the help of the lingual lipase. That's it. But majority of the process will begin here because the bile salts that is released in uh, the stomach from the gallbladder those bile salts are going to emulsify the fat and then the final phases of fat digestion an actual phase of fat digestion will take place in the small intestine uh, okay so here what we have PAPA -A. we have these two terms PAPA -A. so we have PA for pancreatic lipase and another PA is remember if you recall that is phospholipase A2 so PA is for phospholipase A2 so let me write this PA is for pancreatic pancreatic lipase and the other PA is for phospholipase A2 A2 phospholipase A2 okay 
So we have these four enzymes coming in here, right? After that, we have two enzymes, pancreatic lipase and phospho uh, phospholipase A2. So pancreatic lipase and phospholipase A2, they act here. Pancreatic lipase and phospholipase A2. Particularly phospholipase A2 acts on the phospholipids. It breaks down phospholipids into the fatty acids and the phosphate backbone, the glycerol backbone part. When pancreatic lipase is going to act uh, in the intestine, and they are going to finally digest the di diglycerides and also smaller uh, form of the not that complex at the beginning like triglycerides but the diglycerides into smaller fragments like fatty acids and glycerol backbones. So that is done in the intestine. Remember it is done in the intestine. In the brush border cells you can remember in the intestine. So we have all these things listed from this particular sentence, one single sentence, Lilibos's papa is Lilibos's father basically. Lilibos's papa, we get uh, the name of the different enzymes. Li, lingual lipase, digestion in the mouth. Li, gastric lipase, digestion in the stomach. Gastric means it is in the stomach, so it's stomach. So that breaks triglycerides into diglycerides. That's the simpler part. Then we have BOAC, B and S for bile salt. Emulsification of the fat is being done. Then comes PAPA, PA is for pancreatic lipase, uh, acting again in the small intestine, digesting the diglycerides into fatty acids. And fatty acids are also uh, taken out, like hydrocarbon components are separated. Then another PA is for phospholipase A2 that breaks down phospholipids into the fatty acid chains and the glycerol backbones. So this simple sentence help you to frame all this information in your brain. The, the use of the mnemonic is to fit a lot of information in your brain in very less amount of time, very less small span of time. So in small span of time we can put all this information in our brain and that is going to be a game changer. Okay, I believe you like this video. I believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed. And one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time. So five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain. You can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam. And if you really like this video lectures, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. There's a series of this mnemonics lecture, a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description. Click that and watch all the videos of the playlist. And if you wish to be mentored by me for your CSINET examination or want to get our study material, then the details are there here in the video. You can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or our, check our website that is www.shownsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.